Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about this, the Olympus Trip 35 and my first time shooting it. So I got this camera in a charity shop which I know I'm super lucky with but before shooting it I had no idea if it had worked. And if you're not familiar with the trip I'll give you a quick overview. So it's powered by a selenium cell which is basically this which is solar powered and this was the main thing I was really worried about as I've seen a lot of online reviews where this doesn't work and all the negatives come out either not at all or really underexposed and it's something really hard to replace so I was really worried about that. Shutter speed there are two, 1 40th and 1 200th of a second. You adjust the aperture here and it's recommended if you're shooting outside to put it on A which is for automatic or if you're indoors putting it on 2.8. This is how you change the ISO at the front of the lens but it is limited just going from 25 to 400. And when it comes to focusing and selecting the distance you use this so you don't focus through the viewfinder, you just select what the distance is. So you have the pictures on the top here, so you have extreme close-up, mid-short, environmental shot, and then far away infinity. And if you're not really sure what you should be going for, these pictures can be kind of confusing. At the bottom, it's a bit more detailed, so matching up with the pictures is the distance in feet and meters. Now before we go on to the images, I just want to say a huge, huge thank you to everyone who subscribed, whether it's over the last week, two months or three years, I really, really appreciate it. And last week we actually went over the 5k mark, which is something I just never expected. I started this channel a few years ago because I came back from living in Bangladesh as a community worker and I had no money, no job, I just didn't know what I wanted to do. So I decided to make one video a week, just have something to focus on. And then after a year or so, it became about something much more than that. I became part of the community, loved engaging with you guys in the comments and on other people's videos. And yeah, I just, I'm really shocked and very happy and thankful to reach 5k. So to celebrate 5k, I've had quite a few people asking me through Instagram and other places, do I sell prints? The answer is now yes, I've finally got around to it. I've set up a print shop online and to celebrate it in 5k, I've selected five of my favourite images I've taken over the last year. So the link for that will be in the description. And yeah, if you want to print, go check it out and thank you once again. So back to this, the Trip 35. And the images, I'll let you see for themselves, but personally, I actually really like them. I shot it on Ilford HP5 because I shot this footage a little while ago, which you'll be able to see. And at the time I didn't actually have any color stock. I just had black and white, but also I've been really getting into black and white recently. And that's what I wanted to shoot. So it's twofold really. It's what I wanted to do and it's the only thing I had. So <laughs> let's have a look at those images.
so that's addressing the elephant in the room. You probably notice on the camera and all the footage, there was blue tape on my camera. And basically the reason is I've never shot this camera before. I've never held this camera before. Um, and on the back, it just doesn't, the back here just doesn't feel like it sits flush and you can probably hear it. Um, I don't know if that's just a trip and what they're like, but I was a bit paranoid. So I just put tape on it to avoid any light leaks. If you shoot a trip, just let me know down below. Is that normal? That sort of, I don't know. I mean, the tape did prevent light leaks if they were going to be there, if not. So overall, yeah, I'm really happy with the images. They are a little bit on the underexposed side. I've got to say, I tried to edit a few of them, but there's quite a lot of grain there. But overall, I liked it. My main concern going into it was forgetting to adjust the range. Um, and that did happen a couple of times just when I was chasing a moving scene. I just didn't have time. And because I'm not used to shooting this camera, it wasn't like an automatic reflex. I didn't know where to go with my hands. Um, but I would say if you've got that worried, don't be too worried. I took two identical shots using two different ranges. The image on the left is shot with 1.5 meters distance and the one on the right is a three meter option. So as you can see, there's not a lot of difference in it. So if you are shooting it, don't get worried about being too precise with the measurements. And it's just part of the fun. Ergonomically, this camera is actually really nice to use. It's just about pocket size if you've got decent sized pockets. Um, but for the way I shoot, it's not too bad. Although, yeah, I'm not used to the range just yet, but if you used it a lot, I think you probably would be. The main problem I had with it was the shutter speed. It's very limiting just having two, which you can't actually pick yourself. So when I went cycling with my housemates, I took about seven shots, but you only saw, I think, two of them in the footage because they were the only usable ones. So the shutter speed can be quite limiting on this camera. My favorite shots were this one of the random balloon in the street, although it was bright red, so kind of a bit annoying, I'll shoot in black and white and the trees. So that's it for my little review of this, the Olympus Strip 35. I personally really enjoy shooting and will shoot it again. I don't know necessarily for what, I don't think it's going to be my everyday camera, but I really enjoy shooting it as a camera. Let me know down below if you've tried it and what you thought. I know it can be quite decisive, quite dividing this camera and can come with quite a hefty price tag, which I don't think justified. I don't think it's justified at all. But if you find it in a charity shop or for a good bargain, then I would go for it. So that's it for this video. Remember to check out my print shop down below if you're interested and I'll see you in the next one.